All right, we're doing another video um, like usual. Um, you know, we felt a little unprofessional last time, so we made sure the essential oils are going, the fireplace. We know it brings the ambience up. So had to do it. Um, went ahead and did our skin routine, our shower, our normal shit. You know, we felt like very, I felt, I mean, why say we? I felt very not good, I guess, throwing a video up just uh, being complete shit. You know, complete trash. You know, I can normally be trash, but not like unclean trash, I guess. So fingernails cut, you know, fresh shower, you know, everything's going good. So um, I don't know, man. Um, again, no idea what the fuck I'm talking about in this video. I actually had a very weird feeling earlier. Um, I kind of was like sitting here doing my thing and I started like kind of like fading out. I was like, man, I started shutting my eyes and I was like, oh, no. I'm going to the fucking nether realm on this one. I'm blacking out or something. I was like, you know what? We'll take a break. We'll take a shower. We'll get cleaned up and kind of enjoy ourselves a little bit more mentally. So we are drinking um, today's drink of the day. Vodka and water out of our skull cup, you know, keeping it classy, um, you know, hydrating and fuck, you know, getting fucking faded all at the same time. So very efficient, if you ask me. Um, I would say this. There's some pros and cons to drinking. There definitely is. Um, there's a lot of pros. I mean, there's a lot of cons. What I meant to say, there's a lot of cons, actually. Um, but there's some pros. Um, we could talk about it a million times. But, you know, I actually, uh, I had a weird uh, day. Um, you know, I actually woke up. I didn't sleep very long last night. Um, I think I went to sleep about 4 a.m., some shit like that. 4 a.m., I had to wake up at um, nine something. Anyways, I kept fucking having these weird dreams that like some made up food that didn't even exist. So they kept trying to give it to me and it was like some kind of meat with gravy on it or something, but it wasn't even a real food. It was like a thing. I don't know. Anyways, I kept ha thinking about this thing and waking up and going to sleep, waking up, going to sleep. So like my last hour and a half of sleep, even though I really only had like four hour, four and a half hours of sleep total anyways, even if I slept the whole time. Really probably slept like three hours. Um, but yeah, we got up. I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, man, I cannot work today. This is the fucking worst. I feel like complete shit. Um, I felt like trash. But you know what? Um, we went in our big bag of tricks and we pulled it out somehow. You know, like like usual, we come through clutch when we need to. And our backs are against all we had. I mean, I had to work today. Um, I was there thinking about it, and I was thinking about the overtime and all that bullshit, you know, that's coming up. So I was like, man, there's no way I can throw away that much money just on being an idiot. So anyways, I watched a video last night. It was kind of intriguing. Um, the guy basically was just talking about the kind of stuff that I'm doing, you know what I mean? Like, oh, living in your vices and, you know, moping and bitching and being negative and all that shit, you know what I mean? Just like basically attacking me directly, really. Um, but no, he's just talking about, like, you just got to, like, you talked about the, the, the solution to all this. He's like, yeah, you got all this pain going on. You got to get on the other side of the pain. You know, you just got to work work through everything. You know, you got overtime, do 16-hour days. You got all this shit, just work, 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 work. Do grindy shit, don't eat bad, all that, you know, all that shit, you know, basically. And, um, yeah, I mean, him calling me a bitch, basically, like, indirectly. You know, it kind of got to me a little bit. It got to me a little bit. So anyways, I woke up today and I had coffee and I was like, blah, blah, blah. And I got to about my lunch and my shift. And I went to the store and I was like, you know what? I got all healthy stuff. I, um, I mean, pretty much I got all healthy shit, really. I just got a bunch, a few healthy items. You know, I was sitting there. I was like, I got a Pedialyte. I got all this, you know, some chicken thighs, some, I don't even remember what else I got, but, um, I don't know, man. As I was getting in the line, I saw how long the lines were for self-checkout. So I got in the uh, the normal checkout lines and I ended up buying a pack of cigarettes. And this is where my undoing started because I started thinking, I was like, I already got myself set up for the routine of the drinking, smoking, being complete fucking whatever. And I don't know, that's kind of where it unraveled. But up until that point, I was pretty much sold on not doing any of that. I was like, you know what? That other guy's right. I'm going to do all that you know, shit that's like, you know, work, 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 grind, 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 all that shit. I don't know, man. It didn't really work out like that. I ended up, you know, obviously I've been 
drunk for like ever now. Um, but I highly considered it. It was very intriguing mode. Um, you know, I, I had my work day. I had a lot of calls that were really trying to throw shit at me, really just trying to fuck with me, really, as hard as they could. Um, but you know what? I dodged it, left, right, did a little salsa dance on their ass. Just like, no, no, no. I wasn't having that shit today. So, you know, I, I fought through it. I fucking had a great day. I've got nothing but good fucking scores this month. We're on pace to just murder it like usual. Um, I'm not even fucking scared of shit right now at work. I mean, work, I got down. Like, work, whatever. Like, work can fuck off. Um, I, I've gotten that down to fucking pat. I mean, people throw shit at me sometimes, you know, but I dodge that shit. I dodge it. I'm a professional fucking shit dodger at this point. Um, that's whatever. You know, I've been watching funny videos, doing dumb shit. I've been getting fucking annihilated at chess. I mean, it didn't work out. I didn't do anything. I haven't eaten today. Um, but, you know, we have some goods and some bads, right? Taking out all this shit, you know what I mean? Like, there's some there's some goods coming in here a little bit. You know what I mean? We, we showered. We got other stuff going. So, I mean, it's all whatever. You know, we haven't, it's what, 10 o'clock at night. Um, I'm not out and about in the public, you know, drunk, you know, being a fucking moron. So, there's some positives there. I didn't go out last night. You know, I didn't do anything stupid. And again, still not online dating. So, we are... I mean, yeah, we're, we're fucking up on the drinking and smoking thing, but we're showing up to work. You know, we're not, we may not be eating very much, but we're not overeating at least. Um, you know, I had a, I don't know, man. I had a very weird night. I ended up finishing the last episode of Billions last night on Showtime. I was sitting there eating some, I ended up getting fucking hungry at night. I ordered some food last night. I had some burritos, um, but I ended up eating these fucking pretzels with, some like fucking dairy free onion shit that I think Jody ended up was gonna eat, but she left here. Uh, not bad actually, not too bad. I'd say the onion, dairy free, fucking gluten free dip or whatever. Um, pretty solid shit. I had that with some pretzels. I watched Billions. Life was not the worst ever, and I actually ended up watching this other show called Couples Therapy, where I got to basically witness people just basically being little pricks to each other. Um, and watching a psychologist have these interesting dialogue conflicts where she didn't know what to think about it and all this shit. And, you know, some of the people in the couples therapy thing were fucking like just so insufferable. I don't know, man. I just, uh, don't like it. Don't ever do it. Um, you know, who knows, but, um, yeah, I got to watch that. Today's been like this. I really haven't done anything of any importance. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to eat, no idea what I'm going to do tonight. Um, but yeah, uh, mentally, whatever, spiritually, physically, we always do all that shit. Um, physically, I mean, you see me, it's whatever. I don't know, man. I'm not working out, I'm not really doing anything. I'm not gaining weight, at least. So, I mean, I guess it's a positive, right? Uh, spiritually, I feel fucked spiritually, I think, pretty much. Mentally, I'm pretty fucked too on that deal. Um, you know, I, I pretty much thought I was gonna make it to uh, my whole like thing, my awakening last night, which was really not. Uh, obviously, you know, the booze and the cigarettes beat me out. Um, that weak mind state thing um, beat me out, and so here I am in my comfort and solace of whatever we're doing now. So it's kind of what it is. Um, you know, do I, um, I don't know, man. Like at the end of the day, it's, it's all the same shit, really. I mean, I'm suffering mentally. Um, you know, I'm suffering a lot. I pretty much am just suffering and the drinking is masking me feeling all the emotions of the suffering. And that's kind of, I think we've already went over that. I mean, there's nothing new to it. It's just pretty much same shit. You know, I'm, I'm 34 years old. Uh, working my ass off and pretty much my life plans of marrying somebody, you know, marrying Jody, having a kid, getting a house, you know, possibly transferring out of here, at least it's fucking Kansas City or Tampa, you know, all of it just completely not exist, non-existent at this point. So um, the plans now really are just survive. 
survival, day-to-day survival, like survive, like fucking, I don't know, man, like some kind of weird fucking middle class, lower middle class survival show that only I get to watch and only I get to participate in and only I get to broadcast um, the winners and losers, which is always me, the winner and the loser. Don't even know if that makes sense. I mean, honestly, like I feel way more faded than probably any of my other videos. Um, I feel much more drunk right now than probably any other time. Um, but I'm getting more used to it. So it's not like as obvious, you know, you know, my brain is still hard at work overthinking as much as possible to get me to talk and say all this shit on my mind. Um, so that's always a thing. Um, you know, I haven't had any deep introspective thoughts today. You know, I've thought about the same stuff. You know, I, I pretty much think about, you know, the drinking and I think about the money and I think about Jody and I think about, you know, what I want to, what I'm doing and how I feel about it and why, you know, why everything happened and, you know, what kind of person I am. And, you know, I, I think about these things really all the time. Um, there's no real, um, good or bad answer or good or bad thing I can talk about with all that stuff. You know, it's really just, um, at the end of the day, you know, I was in a relationship and no matter what I do with it, I always feel like I'm always just walking on eggshells with everything. It's always a house of cards that's bound to fall eventually, no matter what I do, no matter what I commit. Um, I feel like it's, it's almost like, I don't know. I don't feel like, uh, I don't know, man, but it does feel kind of very, very, uh, hard thinking about starting over because I really don't want to even try to start over. So I don't even want to try. Like, I don't even care to even go out there and even attempt to try. I I just don't, I would rather not even try. I mean, that's the easiest answer I can give to it. I just don't really value meeting somebody right now. And I don't value the idea of company or talking to people about my problems or anything. I just don't want to do it. I'd rather literally drink and be here and not feel anything at all. Um, And I know deep down there's stuff boiling, there's stuff ready to come out, but I don't have to at least deal with it. I don't have to face it. You know, as long as I can drink, then it's just kind of like, I just feel this way. I feel like I've numbed myself Um, and it's highly effective. So who knows, Um, you know, the more I drink and the longer I spend doing it, the more I feel like I'm dis- not really disassociating exactly, but the longer I get away from who I am. Um, because who I am or who I was is not, it's not winning me the game. You know, it's not, you know, the nice, the get nice, the be nice Nick, the fucking compromise Nick, the, the guy who wants to show up at work and be the family guy and, you know, be lovey and cook and buy snacks and just cuddle and all that shit. Like that's not the guy winning the game. He's not, I tried it, tried it so many times, you know, but you know, maybe he will win the game. And I keep telling myself that, that, you know, if I'm just nice enough and I'm, just change enough and if i just change myself and make myself nicer and nicer and nicer and even nicer and nicer and nicer that i'll get that thing that i want in life and that's a family and how a household and a loving situation that's awesome and has no compromise you know can people can compromise that dangerous word compromise imagine that or when you run into a problem you work it out and you don't jump ship and shit like that. But I don't know, man, like who knows? I mean, who knows that I have the right answers because I've tried it the other way too. And I wasn't really looking for love in that situation, but you know, I didn't, I don't know. I never felt burned then, 
you know, because I never cared. I never invested. You know, you can't lose if you don't invest. And that's the number one rule, you know, when it comes to that kind of lifestyle of living like an asshole. If you don't invest, you can't lose what you don't put in. Right. So when you put nothing in, you lose nothing. You know what I mean? It's a fucked up game. It's like you're playing for free all the time. And it's fucking weird. Yeah. But I'll say this, you know, I'm not going to be completely negative about everything. I've got to learn so much shit. I really have. I mean, I have grown as a lot as a human being. So even if I'm being kind of a little salty about shit right now, about stuff, you know, I, I learned a lot and I have grown. And at least it gives me the option of being this, 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 and this. And I'm at least self-aware, you know, and I'm not just completely out there. Just like, this is Nick. This is who he is. He's just this way, you know, where I'm just that shark, you know, mentality. And that's who I am all the time. At least now I can be aware of the different me's that there are out there that can you know, live. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways, give me a second to think. Let me, let's go ahead and pick a son of the day. I am not picking one of those goddamn samples though. Um, it's not going to happen. I can't do it today. After the last two, I need to be in a good mood. So let's do something good. What's going to put me in a great mood? I mean, it's a little warm. Um, Hey Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, well, actually, Tonight, maybe it's not. Expect a low of right. 59 degrees. So let's go ahead and talk Hope about you're this. Having a great weekend. This is actually something we're going to be using. So 66 degrees. It's a little bit, um, a little bit cooler outside than usual. So we're going to throw this one out there. Um, we got Spice Bomb, Victor and Roll. And it says extreme, but I don't think you can really even see that word there. Yeah, it's not going to zoom in because it's being a piece of shit. Why does this shirt feel so weird? I feel so like it's like weird and tight in all the wrong ways. I don't know, man. But anyways, um, so Victor, uh, this is actually a top um, three clone for me um, for the fall, winter. This is a top three. This is my like, oh, it's cool outside. My everyday scent. This is like fucking this is like gold that is this can't uh, be beat this can't be fucked with nobody's fucking with this on a day-to-day scent oh my god this is jesus i can't even fucking put it into words man like and this is very strong so i don't know why i sprayed four sprays on myself i'm going to be a bomb i mean it says spice bomb but it's true and look at this it's not cool it's like a little grenade and you get a little pin you pull off there is that not cool? Look at that. Who thinks of shit like that? Just gaudy little fucks that want to make things cool. It is cool. It's like, oh, hey, pull the pin. Throw it. No. But. Man. You know, I own a lot of bottles of shit. I own a lot of shit. I'm going to be honest with you. For the winter, um, winter, fall, I'll be honest with you. This, Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, the one, um, what is it? This Dolce & Gabbana, the one, um, uh, by the fireplace, um, and, uh, Hugo Boss bottled intense. Man, they're all beautiful. This shit is straight up like fucking cuddle. This is straight up sexy it's just beautiful it smells amazing it's smooth sexy sensual fucking alpha it's just male it's just it's beautiful it's like everything that you want a clone to be and and honestly it's a masterpiece um masterpiece spice bomb victor and rolf i can't say any more better shit about it i mean it's just it's bomb now this shirt is definitely like I got me fucked up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell? I feel like kind of things like hugging me. I mean, we got a little hug going on. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I mean, we're 20 minutes into this video. I've been probably rambling so hard right now. Um, but yeah. Um, I mean, who knows what we got in our plans? I mean, honestly, I would like to get to the point where I'm not drinking um, and smoking. I really don't want to be smoking with you if i can be honest i don't like it. it is the one thing that doesn't make me feel good healthy wise 
obviously drinking is not great, but the smoking is really what gets to me a little bit more. Mm. You know, um, nothing about anything I'm doing is healthy. Like none of it is healthy, you know, like mentally or physically or any of that, but emotionally it's, it's, it's a very, uh, soothing way to live. You know, and honestly, like I think about like shows and movies and stuff I watch where you get these people that just like drink all the time. Like, like it reminds me of, um, like Game of Thrones where you got that one dude, um, the crazy guy with all the scar, like half his face is scarred. The knight, the, the hound, the hound, he drinks all the time, dude. And I get it. He's like, he's suffering mentally. He's got so much shit and baggage going on. He's just got to drink, man. He's like, fuck it. You know what I mean? He's like, I don't want to be here all the way for all this shit. Just got to be here halfway. Be a halfway here, man. You know what I mean? I'll be here for the important shit, you know? And um, it's definitely not the goal. Like, my goal is not to do this. Like, it really is not. I need to get to a place where I feel good. Um, but I don't know really what to do, you know, because every day just feels like a bag of, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like I have to work every single day. I feel like I have to, I have to wake up here. I have to work every single day. I really have nothing to do other than this. Um, I just don't know. I feel kind of trapped in a weird way. You know, it's merely a temporary thing, but that's kind of the way I feel, you know, I just feel kind of trapped. Um, like if I could do anything in life, I mean, I could say some sappy shit right now. Um, I would, I mean, I want, I don't know, man. Like what am I supposed to say? That's not going to sound pathetic. I mean, everything I'm going to say sounds pathetic when I'm drinking. So I don't know, man. Um, I want all of my, I want everything back. <laughs> I don't know, man. That sounds so silly. I want everything back. I want it all back. I want another chance. I, um, I don't know, man. Like what would be different? You know, you always ask yourself that, but you always have a new perspective every time you go through this shit, you know, what you could do different, this, this and that. I don't know, man. I'm not really doing my hobbies right now. I mean, how much would I be better? Right? I'd have more appreciation. I would love, you know, I'd be there. I do all the normal stuff, you know, all the normal stuff you need to do. But I don't know, man. I guess I haven't figured all that out yet. Yeah, who knows? I just know that I miss that. I miss, uh, I miss the idea that I can't just go to sleep, um, go bring on a little tablet and go to sleep in their bed and wake up and have somebody there. Yeah. It just feels nice. Um, uh, there's a lot to it. I mean, there's way more than that. I just can't really get into it, but I don't want to be all like pathetic on here. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I'm looking at where I'm at right now and, you know, I could definitely, I'm, capable of surviving i'm capable of making it i'm capable of making lots of money and getting in shape and doing all this other shit but i'm not capable of doing it and loving it you know maybe that's maybe that's why we don't do it you know we eventually will we'll eventually have our night where we do a bunch of dumb shit and realize this isn't the life for us and we go overboard and we realize why we don't want to drink you know, and we go, oh, we want to drink and day one and start all that shit again. You know what I mean? But it takes a pretty awful night and it takes even more awful shit happening. You know, why can't I just do it, you know, on my own? Why can't I just do it day to day? Why do I have to go through a night of awful with something really, a couple of really bad things happening to me? Like, why? I mean, why does it take that to get me to stop drinking? You know, I, I don't really know. You know, nobody really knows what I do day to day. I don't like wake up and talk to people like, oh, I'm drinking. Like, nobody knows what I'm doing. I just do what I want. I mean, really. And, you know, and that's a sense of freedom that's pretty amazing, but it gives you a lot of opportunity to fuck up and have, you have no criticism to it at all. Nobody gets to criticize. I mean, people, 
I have had some criticism, but not not too much. You know what I mean? Like nobody really knows what I'm doing. If everybody knew what I was doing, they'd be like, "Don't do that, don't do that," and they'd be giving me advice and making me feel guilty about what I'm doing. But I don't expose myself like that, so you know I don't really have to deal with that. It's not been a downside. It's kind of a lonely world, but it's also a free world, you know. So yeah, I don't know, man. Wow, I've been rambling my dick off. And this shirt, man, what the fuck, dude? I haven't even been eating today. Like, how long is this shirt so fucking tight, man? Um, yeah, man, I don't, I don't really have much else to say. I think that's uh, about covered it. I feel like I've rambled, said a lot of stupid shit, and uh, I think that's pretty good. <sighs> amazing. I mean, it's still amazing. Uh, I did my Halloween lights. Um, you know, I may light a candle or something, you know, um, you know, how I know when I'm going to get out of this thing is when I start cleaning my place. <laughs> I think maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll wake up. Maybe I'll clean my place tomorrow. You know, maybe I'll clean, do the dishes and clean all that shit out my living room. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Who knows? But anyways, um, I don't know. I don't know why I get to hear these cars screeching and driving around all crazy. I drank a little too much tonight. Um, more than usual. So um, take that as you will. If I say anything too dumb, take it with a grain of salt or bag of salt or whatever the saying is, bag of sand. Um, it's a grain of salt. Why did I even fucking start correcting? It was already right. Um, but yeah, just, um, you know, wish me luck. Hey, Alexa, stop. Um, yeah, just wish me luck. Um, life is super weird right now, and we're going through a very weird time. Um, we're making good money, though. And honestly, on the work thing, I think I was going to talk about this. Um, I did overtime yesterday. I did some overtime a little bit tonight at the end of my shift. So we've made pretty, we're making pretty good money. And as long as we can keep our shit together on the work side, Good things to come, um, great things to come, but we need more than money to solve these problems that we got going on. So we'll figure that out. Anyways, uh, that's about enough for this tonight's video. This one's been a, I don't want to say upper or down, really, because I really don't know. I feel not good. Um, I've drank way too much, and I really shouldn't be drinking more. But probably gonna have another drink later smoke some cigarettes, watch some videos, and I'm probably going to pass out pretty early tonight, I think, which will be prime real estate for us to wake up tomorrow and work and stuff and shit, you know what I mean, and do stuff productive, I think. Mm. Anyways, enough with my bullshit. I've gone on long enough. I've wasted enough time here. Um... Yeah, that's about it. That's all I really have to say. Um, anyways, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll have a more positive video. I think I'm gonna be much more. I'll be much more positive. How about that? I guarantee I'll be more positive. I promise that I will do something productive tomorrow. All right, I promise. I don't know what it is, but since I promised it and I have to come back here tomorrow, we'll see what that's gonna be. But yeah. Um, I love you all. Thank you for watching this. Sorry again, a little junk tonight. Um, thank you for watching these. Always appreciated, always loved, always thanked and all that. Have a good night. Hope I don't get too drunk. I don't go out, don't do anything dumb. I don't think I will. I've been on a pretty good streak. Not doing that. We've gotten on a two or three day streak. We're not going out. So anyway, sorry about all the noise. Anyways, love you all.